We're out here with some ukulele and the impossible lair. I have played the other ukulele game a little bit sporadically. Not 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 too deeply, maybe only a one hour hour or two hours into that one. And I wasn't a huge fan of it. It, it just I mean, maybe it was because I wasn't paying attention to the dialogue or the plot. I just had no idea what to do, where to go. It was kind of an open layout. You could go a bunch of different places. This one seems to be more structured into levels. I've I've seen very sporadic footage. I always try not to watch too much footage and and not spoil, but you know, don't want to give away too much about the game. Right? Even if it's not story related, you don't want to you don't want to cheapen the experience of playing it for the first time. Okay, we've arrived in the royal stingdom. So presumably a kingdom controlled by bees or something of the sort. Definitely liking the graphics. It looks appropriately wacky for the moment. <laughs> I like how they voice act for like the the, inter the interjections, but not the actual dialogue. Okay, it's the dynamic duo. Uh -huh. Capital B, we're here to take you down again. Is his name Capital B? Is that what it actually is? Oh. Yuka and Lily, you're here. Help me stop Capital B. He's created a B mind control device. Oh, so even the bees don't like Capital B. And that it does appear to be his actual name. The Hive Mind. Appropriately named. Sounds fancy. Should we be worried? So, I can't tell which one's talking there. Yes, he will use it to enslave all the bees in the Royal Stingdom. The last thing Capital B needs is a larger workforce. I'd love to listen to you lot drone on. Good one. But I've got worlds to conquer. Whoa, whoa! Oh, then you really hurt us. Mwahaha! <laughs> I'm just warming up. Quick, this way. Press a B to jump and look out for traps. Alright, Lily. Oh, so this is Yuka talking. I don't know what voice to give. I'll just give Yuka my other voice. Alright, Lily, let's go help Queen Phoebe. That's good to me. Alright, so we gotta jump. So, we got one thing that will help us roll. Or, okay, it's an attack. And then if we're pressing a direction, it helps us kind of roll. Alright. And we don't have, like, a wall jump or anything. We just kind of slide down the edge of the wall. Okay. Okay, so we can also stick out our tongue, which is cool. Jump and grab that rope. Okay, I'm assuming I just... Oh, I just hold on to it. I can just jump off? Nice. Whoa! Okay. Oh, Come on. Use Y to attack or roll. Attack when running. Okay. I see. Okay. So we can we can break obstacles with our roll. Ah, Boris, my favorite employee. You can will never get past you. Boom, easy money. He's <laughs> straight up just about as easy as you can possibly get. Grr, try this crushing defeat. Is there anything down there? Missed again, capital P. I can roll jump. Oh, it's pretty cool. Great, you're here. I've rallied my B Talion shield to help us. That's what he said. He's just annihilating the fucking shield. Girl, time for B enforcements. Let's see your B Talion cope with real firepower. Interesting. Okay, I'm guess I'm probably gonna have to use the tongue, right, to like bring that box forward. Do you really need capital B defeated? Maybe he'd be a good. <laughs> We're just giving up already. Fear not, you chickens. Borrow my battalion shield. They'll take all the hits for you. Take them and stop that creep. It's like, why are you not using it? Whoa, we're all powered up. Come on, Yuka. Let's test it out. Onwards. Yeah. 
Alright, I don't know. Wait, what? I thought I had like the... Oh, I do have the shield, okay. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, so they're just giving me like invincibility at this entire level to like dick around, I guess. So they're just showing me where I would where, where I would have gotten hit. So I'm getting hit like every fucking spot. Okay, interesting. That was pretty bad. <laughs> Good thing I have this invincibility shield. Cheaters, you wouldn't have made it this far. <laughs> You're absolutely correct. You're absolutely correct. Time for me to activate the hive mind, yoink! Why didn't you do that like at the beginning? Thanks for warming them up. These battalion shield guards work for me now. Well, that tickles. Ew. No. Now it's your turn to be mind control, Queen Fleeby. Prepare to become mindless drone. She already seems resigned to her fate. Homeboy's oh fucking dancing out here. You monster. <laughs> out of power? What? How does this little apparatus work? I'll enslave the royal stingdom. It's up to you now, you got Go kick his behind. But be careful, you have no battalion this time. Okay, so now I have to actually fucking play the game. Okay, so we got... Uh, what was the... Oh, a boss door. Okay, hold on. Let's get our controls down first. Okay, so this why is this little tail whip attack thing? If we use it in the air, it does a spinny, and then if we use it directionally, it rolls. Alright, and then... R... Yeah, I guess R is the tongue attack nothing else seems to work. Okay, so, okay, so this is like a melee attack, roll, aerial spin, and then the tongue, which I don't know if that attacks, like if that does attack damage, I don't know anything about that. Alright. Try spinning midair for Lely, with Laylee for slower landings. Okay, so, I should probably just get used to spinning in general while I'm in the air, like at all times. That's probably a good, probably a good call here. This is a bit of a long loading screen. You could can throw items upward. Try it. I'm assuming this is not tips for the current moment. It's just generic game tips, which I haven't even, which the game hasn't bothered to teach me yet. Okay, here we go. Boss time. Who are we fighting? Oh, we're fighting him right away. Now the hive mind is recharged. I can whoop your butts. We beat you before, and we can do it again. You won't be so lucky this time. Brace yourself. Here I come. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, shit. Oh. Okay. Let's try the... Oh, what the fuck? Okay. What you gonna do then? Oh, he's just dipping out? That was the whole fight? What? I thought it'd be more dramatic. Okay. Grr, you deadbeats got lucky. But let's see you handle the next stage of my devious plan B. Right. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, those things do damage to me. Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see. Ugh. Oh my god, what the fuck? It was like actually hard. Oh. oh my god, what? So, okay, this is like one hit. Like one hit KOs here? Jeez. <laughs> what? Okay. Alright, still gotta get used to like the. The physics of the game, how 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 much you can move laterally in the air while doing all stuff. Okay, let's uh, let's try to retry this. 
that platforming section was surprisingly like difficult. <laughs> There's three platforms, and I wasn't able to get to that timing down. Cause he he jumps like in a kind of floaty way. It's not like a, a quick jump or anything like that. So it's you know it's not super easy. Okay. These loading screens are a little bit tedious, especially off of a. It's not even like loading the next level. You know, it's just like loading the freaking the same level we were just in, or or not. We're just loading the the little. Intermediate area. Quick, don't just lie there. You must return. Ugh. Can't we call it a draw? He's powering up the hive mind, which allows him to control. I know this stuff. Stop telling me shit. If I can pull out the chapters with the imprisoned battalion, then you can go rescue them. Stand back. Oh, was I was I supposed to die in that? <sighs> was I supposed to die in that in that stage? I mean, it felt hard, but like, I feel like I could have gotten past it if I tried, no? Okay, so it looks like we do have a, a few ways we can go. They're giving us the option to choose our levels. You did it! Quick, don't just lie there. Ugh. Right, let's start by rescuing a battalion member from his chapter. <laughs> Leave it to us, Queenie. We got this. Okay, so I guess I'm not supposed to... Oh yeah, I literally can't even fucking go up here. There's some water here, which is strange. And I'm slow as fuck in water, and I can't... Oh, I can jump in this. Oh no, I can jump in here too, so I can go here. Hold X to enter. One attempt, three per second play. Okay, so I'm guessing, yeah, this seems like the final stage that we can attempt at any time, I guess. So, so uh, yeah, I guess it's one of those games. Like, if you feel like you're good enough, you can go ahead and just, you know, try to do that. Alright, well, if that's not what the game wants me to do. <laughs> that's not what I'm going to do. Chapter 1, Capital Causeway. So we have five collectible items here at the bottom thing is showing. So we'll have to clear the level and get the collectibles. We don't even know what form the collectibles are. Okay, so we can jump off of an enemy's head for greater height. Okay. Oh, so I haven't tested that yet. If we just, if it's just like the Mario style, if, we, if you jump on their head, are you in an attacking position? Because I don't know whether you have to specifically spin while you're in the air for it to count as an attack, or if you can just launch an attack willy-nilly. Okay. What does this thing do? It's like scanning something. Was that like a heal? Or like... Uh, or a save? I don't know what the fuck that does. So, okay. How do I use the tongue? I'm guessing there's like more abilities, so let's... Yeah, okay, so if I just jump on some shit, then... What does that say? Boost roll. Oh, if we just... Is that an autosave point, I guess? Okay, so it does have the Mario thing where we just bounce on him. Alright, so we have some kind of currency, I guess, here. Come on. Oh, there's a feather. Oh, that, that must be the collectible item. Oh no, th th that's the currency, okay. Twirl jump, okay. Cool. Where are these, are these enemies that I'm supposed to beat or? Okay, strange. No clue. Use R to pick up and throw an object. Oh, okay. Feels like Yoshi, pretty much. Cool. All right. I'm assuming I'll, I'll gain the ability to go up to some of these spaces, because right now I can't seemingly do shit about that. Ah, 
Ah, okay. Okay. Yeah, so this this is a way like easier level than the than that thing was than that than that first one was. Okay. So this is like the mid boss. Okay. Oh, it's coins. All right. So we gotta be. I mean, they're pretty noticeable. So I can't imagine that we just like missed them outright. Got it. Okay. Can we destroy this box? No, we can't. So we have a door here we can go through, or we can just. What if we go through here? Where does that take us? Okay, sure. I think they're right. Oh, fuck. Turn it. Alright. Oh, okay. I see, I see. I see. I see what you're trying to do. Let's try it one more time. This shouldn't be that bad. I should be able to this pretty easily. Okay, let's go. Oh, is it gone? Aw. I only had the one shot. Darn it. Oh well. Okay, we tried. Maybe that thing will show up later on. I worry that it could have like a coin hidden inside of it that we weren't able to get. You can hit them like once. You can keep hitting them, but yeah, it only spit out coins once. So we can go up here. Ooh! <laughs> it reminds me of uh, kind of the Rayman style. Like when you discover a secret area, they'd be like, ooh! See again, like I feel like there's something I should be able to like wall jump to here, you know? Oh, what? Oh, so that's interesting, okay. So, I, I have I, I have the ability to, to eat one hit. You know what this thing does. And then if I don't take another hit in a given amount of time, then... Laylee, I guess? Laylee's the, the pink one? Laylee will get back to me, and then I'll... I'll Retain my ability to eat that second hit. Okay, that's good to know. Yeah, it does seem to be the auto save points. This can only be opened using Buddy Slam with B and L. Oh, cool. Okay, we have like a ground pound type type of deal. I don't know why he's swimming like fucking like a slow motherfucker. Oh, there's like a current. I see. I don't know if there's a way to speed that shit up. Oh, so that's an enemy that'll like, respawn. Uh. Oh, we can just destroy these fucking boxes. So we can't do it with the spin. Still getting the hang of these, uh, the game's controls. Nice. Down we go! Again, is it something that we can... No. It's hard to tell what's what all is breakable and like, what's not, you know? Okay. 
Okay, so we got. Oh shit, I should not. Should not hover around. So I can't, like. I can't fall through platforms. So that's, I guess, notable. There we go. When did I get the fourth one? I don't remember getting the fourth one at all. I also don't know if it's one of those things where I should like be looking for it, you know? Or is it just like beyond the scope of my abilities to get at this point? Come on. Why can't I fucking hit him? Ugh, come on, go back up. What? I just missed that jump. There's the B-Talion. Oh, hello. B-Talion rescued. What does that mean? Oh, that's the stage clear. Okay, interesting. So we got three out of the five coins in Buzzerland. Oh, okay. That was the whole stage. For some reason, that was shorter than I thought it would be. That's interesting. And we got the map. We got one B and it's showing us where we can go next. Okay, cool. And there's something appearing here that's uh... There's music coming out of there. Let's see what that's all about. Wonderful, you saved up Italian. That's one extra hit. Okay, I see, I see. Oh, interesting. Alright. So we're just, we're just getting free hits. I guess. You could try defeating Capital B again with the help from the rescued Italian. Or you can search for more chapters in a quest to raise the entire battalion army. And remember... You can attempt the impossible layer as many times as you like. If you prepare to go at it alone, flip the switch by the impossible layer and my battalion will leave you to it. Flip it again to summon them back if you need their help. Come and speak to me if you'd like to know more. Good luck. What do you think, Laylee? Uh -huh. Attempt the impossible lair again? Or go searching for new chapters to save more Battalion? Whatever we do, let's do it quick. I want to be home in time to watch cartoons. Okay. Tweet, I'll fall out of that, you? Don't let this crank get in your way. Okay, that's a weird fucking thing to say. Hold R and move drag a crate. Okay, interesting. I don't know why they put them in the way if it's, it's so easy to move them out of the way. Okay, let's just check what this is out quickly. The tent that opened up. Uh, I can't like access it. I can't. I can't jump on top of it. So that's super weird. Don't know why that's there. Okay. Well, uh, we will. I I do wonder what like the par is. You know, like if you have par on a golf course. I wonder what par is for the impossible air. Like how many, like a reasonably good player. How many B Italian do you need? to get through the impossible layer with them. I don't know. That's chapter one. That's the intro section and chapter one. We'll pick it up here with more ukulele in the impossible layer next time.